Hi, this is Lonyu, and I'm bringing you another commentary, and this time the map we're seeing is Shakura's Plateau. So we've got a Zerg here, which is Selawera, who you might know, he was in the first GSL, he failed to qualify for the second GSL, but he streams a lot on Team Liquid, so you can see his stream and he does all sorts of things, he doesn't just play games, he gets a bit drunk, he messes about in 2v2 sometimes, he eats chicken on his stream, yep, and he asks for donations a lot, and you might know him for his famous phrase, Holy Check. And against him we've got a blue Terran over here, which is Silver. He was recently in the IAM competition, but he didn't make it to the final eight. So he lost in his group, which was Kiwi Kaki, QXC and Phoenix. So he's a high level Terran player against a high level Zerg player. Um, Sela is number four at the moment, according to the Blizzard rankings on the North American ladder. Although he's not quite that high in the Korean ladder, but he's a decent player nonetheless. And if you just check their APM, you can see they're both nearly at 200 APM, so they're kind of they know what they're doing. Both of these players should give us hopefully a decent game. Um, Seller just saying good game in the chat. Um, I haven't actually seen this map before, so I'm oh, sorry, I haven't played this map, but I know a few things about it. You've got um, some rocks here between their bases, so we're both spawning in top positions. So there's some rocks with a little path going kind of directly between the base, and apparently this might be a streamed game and I'm not sure if this is a ladder game or not, there are no observers in it so it might just be straight off the battlenet ladder and we've got a barracks coming down here from Silver at the bottom of his ramp so he might be trying to block his ramp with a barracks at the bottom or might be doing something a bit funny when we've got Seller just doing a standard 15 hatch um, before pool, no gas or anything up yet and we've got a gas coming up, fairly standard timing here for Silver so he's just going for standard Terran aiming and I think on this map if Silver decides to take down these back rocks, he can position tanks just up here and basically this is the third expansion of Seller so he could tank Seller's third expansion or he can put some tanks around here and I think he can reach this gas geyser here and we see Seller getting his spawning pool down so if we just take production, Seller's a couple of drones behind at the moment but that's kind of fairly standard we've just got some marines being produced by Silver and he's just getting his obstacle command so neither player doing particularly much offensive work um, it doesn't look like Silver scattered him yet, so now he's going to scout him as the final position. And if we check Seller, he, I think he knows that Silver's there since he stopped this overlord. Oh no, sorry, it's moving. So he might not know exactly where Silver is, but he will in a second. And so that spawning pool's nearly finished. Both players, even though it's quite a close distance by air, there's a long ground distance if you don't open up those brack rocks. And we've got Silver trying to decide to see if he can put on some early pressure. So he's blocked off at the bottom of his ramp rather than the top with a, just a supply of the barracks. Now he's sending a couple of marines over to try and get in his barracks and put a bit of pressure on Seller's expansion over here so that Seller can't get too far ahead. Oop, sorry, misclicked a bit. So we've got a factory coming out now, so we might want to get some Hellions and put some pressure on. Or we might see um, a medevac so we can do some Hellion drops in the back up here since it's just the close distance by air, so Hellion drops can be done pretty quickly. And it looks like it's managed to kill the SCV that was building that bunker, so the bunker's not going to go up and Silver's just going to have to run away a bit. Oh no, sorry, he nearly killed the SCV, but not quite. So apparently Silver decided to run another way before it died. Now he's got a few lings up here. Oh, now they have taken down the SCV, so that bunker's not going to be able to go up unless he sends another one over. It doesn't look like he is. So he's just got those two Marines here without the bunker. And now the Queen's just going to work on those Marines. And yeah, he cancels the bunker. And these Marines aren't going to be able to do too much. I think he killed a few lings, so that's about it. And he lost his own SCV. So Sela looks like we've got a star force, so Seller's going to have to be wary of this Hellion Harass which is probably going to come and he'll probably get a medevac out so he can do some Hellion drops and it doesn't look like he's going to get yet a tech lab for the Blue Flame Hellions so he's just going to stick with normal ones for now and we'll have to see if he decides to get a tech lab once some of them start popping out but he's still just on the one gas so it looks like he's going to stick with this fairly heavy, fairly mineral heavy build at the moment and we've got a gas up now for Seller and he's just still on that pool getting Zergling speed up which will help him against those um, Hellions when they do come out and he's just droning up quite a lot, so we've got eight drones being produced at the moment against that one starport and some few Hellions and um, Marines still popping out, so it looks like the Hellion's already taken quite a bit of damage so it's managed to kill all the Zerglings, but he's taken 35, sorry, half damage from all those Zerglings, so he didn't manage to micro it as well as he could, but now we see some spine coils going up, so Sela knows that those Hellions are out he knows that they're going to push in, and it looks like, yeah, we've got the medevac coming out now so definitely we're going to see a drop in silver and he's repairing that Hellion so that it can last a bit longer despite taking those hits from that Zergling. So we've got two spine crawlers coming up at the front, um, a baning nest coming up, an evo chamber coming up in the main but he doesn't have any spine crawlers up in the main so it looks like he's expecting that these Hellions will probably be attacking the front of his base although it's 
he should see, yep, so he sees the starbot, so he might decide to build some spine crawlers kind of in a slightly different place. Or just kind of hope he can use his queens and his lings on the creep over there to defend against the Italians when they do come in. Which I'm assuming they will. Yep, oh, here we are. Dropship's just up here, so he's doing a couple of hellions and some marines. And he's just driven that overlord away, and there are no overlords up here to spot this drops coming in, so it looks like he's going to try and drop in the back of the base. Or he might not have any vision, but Sally is getting a spore crawler up, in fact. So it looks like because he switched over that factory in the starport to get the tech lab on the starport, he's assuming that we're going to see some banshees coming soon from Silver. So he's preparing against that by getting the spore crawler in the back of his main. And it looks like he's got a lot of links coming in, so he's able to get a nice surround on the Italian. Wow. Silver has to drop, and he does almost no damage, so he just takes a few hits on those if he has on the Zerglings, but doesn't manage to take out any drones whatsoever, so that's kind of a bit of a failed drop. And now it looks like Seller's going to send some Lings across, and if you just check the unit tab, you can see he's got 22 Zerglings, so he's got a Queen back in his base, a couple of Queens up here in his base. He's got some Zerglings on his front door, just in case there's any pressure there. He's moved both the Queens back up to his main here, and it looks like Silver's got a Banshee coming out, so yeah, Seller was right to defend with the Spore Crawler against that possible Banshee harass, but it doesn't look like he's got one, oh sorry, <laughs> he just puts one down. So he's got one now coming down in his expansion here. He's got a couple of queens just attacking this banshee, driving that away, and these banelings here just sat ready to attack when hopefully for him at least some drones get mainlanded down from the main of silver onto that expansion. I know it looks like he's gonna go for a baneling bus in fact on that one supply depot at the front and then move up and try and get these drones while they're still up in this main. So we've got some tanks down now for silver. But they're not able to do too much against all these banelings yet. And if he manages to catch these, although he doesn't have speed on the banelings, so they're not able to catch up with these SCPs. But if he does manage to catch them while they're kind of getting stuck on stuff, and he might be able to do a lot of damage. But no, he just kills a few. Not really as many as he would have hoped. Now he's got all these Zerglings in there, able to do a lot more damage to all these SCPs. And we've got a lot going down here. Just with a few Zerglings. And his Banshee is just sat, and his tank and his Banshee aren't able to kill quickly enough, so he's just lost a lot of drones there. He's lost about. I think possibly 15 SCVs, sorry, not drones, SCVs, so it's also about 15 of them. He'll be able to kind of keep up just about with the mules, but he's going to probably stop falling behind quite soon on the drone count. And it looks like Seller's just got his lair coming up and doing a nice spread of creep, just sticking with the two, two bases for now. And he's got those spore crawlers up around his main base, he's got the spore crawler up here, so the Banshee Harass won't be able to do too much. I'm not sure if we got Cloak, no, we didn't get Cloak from Silver, so he's not wasting any money and gas on the cloak for the banshee but he's going to keep that banshee around just because it's kind of generally useful. It looks like he's got siege ready on his siege tanks and he's just got a couple of factories and he's moving out of so he's building a bunker and getting a slight wall up here on his natural expansion. He's not taking down his own rocks at the back here. He's not put any more pressure on Seller's back rocks and it looks like he's going to get quite a few hellions coming out in fact and he's not got that pr infernal pre-ignited blue flame hellion upgrade.